Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. In our last episode, we defeated the Ruined Sentinel boss, and we found this fire. And we're still human, which is awesome. Um, since then, uh, I spent the souls that we got, and I went ahead and purchased this ring, the Ring of Prayer, from the priestess lady that we found back in the uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame, the one who was preaching above where the Dragon Slayer was. Um, she now is residing in the, in the entranceway to there. I went, found her, bought that ring that increases our faith. Uh, let me just take a look at it here. A ring blessed by the High Priest of Volgan increases faith. The clerics of the great city of Volgan are perennially entrenched in scandalous power struggles, but among them remain a few strong-willed, upstanding noblemen. So I went ahead and bought that ring. I also, we got those large Titanite shards, which we still have uh, quite a few. Uh, well, we still have one. Okay, maybe not quite a few. Um, I went ahead and used that to upgrade our mace to level plus six. And the reason for that is that I put this ring on in place of the Ring of Blades, which was increasing our physical attack. And so, since our physical attack went down a little bit, I figured we might as well upgrade our mace to make up for the attack that we're going to lose. So, this episode, what is that? What is that thing? There's an evil butterfly up here. Oh, can we, can we kill this thing? It dropped an item. What did it drop? An old radiant life gem. Huh. Oh, we're going to have to be on the lookout for uh, evil butterflies, apparently. Okay. Well, we have two paths. We can either go that way or this way. That way or this way. Let's stay up. We'll go down later. Let's, let's stay on the upward path, shall we? Oh, it's just a wall. Looks like a fog door over there, for some reason. And there's that blowy up dude in that cage. See him? Just waiting to blow up on us and kill us when we walk by. Alright, what do we got here? Is this a door? Looks like a door. We're back on the ramparts. But I don't know where we are in relation to where we've been. Right, we got another tower here. Let's see if we can figure out where we are. Um, bunch of barrels and nonsense. Ooh. Is that a bonfire over there? Oh! Good try, buddy. Thanks a lot. Lordy, he tried to sneak up on me. Uh, oh, there's an item here. Okay, we gotta be careful. There we go. What do we got? The Bastille Key. Open cells of the lost Bastille. Key to the cells of the lost Bastille. Long ago, a Bastille lord, driven to desperation by the rapid spread of the curse across the land, began to see sub subjects as carriers of the blight and locked them away in droves. This entire Bastille was turned into a prison and left abandoned to rot with its prisoners. So, no more locked doors. I don't think we've come across any other locked doors except for. Oh, his sword stuck in the ground. Sorry, that distracted me. Except for that one in the basement, which we uh, went around behind, so it's not a big deal. Uh, nothing else has been locked. We got two keys so far, this uh, this area. If you remember, we got that other key as well. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Is there murder? Alright, so that goes up. Let's look over here first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do I hear? What's happening? It sounds like a dragon. You hear that? Yeah. 
What is doing that? I, I panicked. I didn't know what it was. I didn't see anything. Alright, so we got an option. We can go down here. Or, um, there's a jump we're gonna miss. That's great. And that leads to a ladder that goes up there. Or we can go up here. Uh, let's go across this roof. Let's, let's mess this jump up first. And, uh, see what happens after that. Uh, so what do we have? A flame butterfly. We have picked those up before. I made the jump. I'm proud of myself. A large soul of a nameless soldier. We have a well. We got a bunch of dogs. We that that guy who we somehow avoided. How do you get up there? Is there a ladder that I didn't see? Or was he chilling out behind a building? Where's he going? Alright, it's very busy down there. We can return down there later. Let's let's look up here while we're while we're here. Yeah, they're not getting back up on this roof, so. What is in here? Alright, this is one way. It's got a gate. It's got a blowy up dude. And a blowy up dude. Alright. Let's take care of the blowy up dudes. Keep an eye out, blowy up dudes. More blowy up dudes. Alright, no more blowy up dudes. Alright, where does this go? Well, that's not useful. That's the most useless door ever. That was... That was silly and fun at the same time. That one was not so fun at the same time. Alright, so what do we have here? I got a blowy up dude just waiting to attack us. Let's head over this way and see what we can find. Uh, okay, we're out overlooking. Oh, okay, so this is where the top of the the spiral staircase takes us in that tower. Okay. So those are just two paths to the same place. So I guess down there at the bottom underneath those is where that downward ladder must lead. We'll go that way eventually. Let's open this up. Is this open both? Oh. Great. Oh, I hate these guys so much now. Alright, we just need to be... Super aggressive with them, it looks like. Oh, sorry to get so quiet, folks. I hear all the, like, weird skittering noises and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know what's happening around me, and I am scared to- Oh! Oh, oh! Nice try, you jerk! Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh! Oh, I should've known, I should've known! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Woo! I should have known that was coming. Is there one up there too? Oh, 
Oh, there's some kind of guy right outside this window with a crossbow. You jerk. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Hey, this is the guy overlooking where we first came in. There's that courtyard with all the dogs in it. Okay. It's all starting to come together as a map in my head. Is this a secret door or anything? Nope. Hear him chit chattering around. Nothing up here. Aha! Secret door. With a green blossom. Wait a minute. Aha! More secret doors. Secret doors galore. Where is this? Who are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, cool. He has a million hit points. Oh, no. You've got to be joking. Well, that was upsetting. That was really upsetting. Wow. I thought we killed that. That's not fair. We've killed him before. What is he doing back? That is such a load. That is the biggest bunch of bull junk I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe that. I'm, I'm actually upset about that. What is this nonsense? killed him before I should not have to fight him again like that is simple that's simple the rules of video games like come on I'm gonna whine about that for a minute cause that just that seems unfair. Okay, almost as unfair as these dudes. Come on! Woo! I do not like them. I can tell you that. So I guess the real question is going to be, is he going to be outside that door forever? Or is he going to be gone? Or is he going to be gone? Like, that's, I guess, is the thing we have to find out. How do we get in... Ah, oh, there's a an elevator we have to bring up. Okay. I mean, at least getting back to this guy is not so hard. Alright, so let's see. Let's find out. Is he going to respawn? Yep! Looks like we're fighting this boss again. All right.
Ah, oh, we're boned if he does the triple. I need to get away from him. Yep, that's that courtyard, all right. Well, that's good to know. Huh. Let's run this one more time. Uh, I Actually, I'm going to cut the run out, folks. Don't worry. I'm going to cut out the run back for you. We'll get right there and we'll fight him. I wonder how many times we're going to have to fight the boss this time before I actually defeat him. I'll take free hits. He'll take free hits. On me, apparently. Come on, Grug, get away from him. Stop getting so close. Sorry, I'm being quiet, folks. What's he doing? No, 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 no. You're a jerk. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, we're low on stamina here. Don't run in, Grug. There's no reason to be that close to him. Oh, I am so sad and sad for myself. Oh well, one more try. Sorry for if my, uh, my exclamation of exasperation was very loud. Uh, last time we fought him here, I just realized I may have been a bit loud on that. I do apologize. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to equip our lightning spear. Maybe we can do a little bit of damage to him with that as well. Oh, come on, let's get our souls. And we'll hit him once, and then we'll get out of the way. Man, he always tricks us with that one. Oh, don't we get stuck with that? We can't block that. Okay. No, we're gonna die quick on this one. No, we got we survived it. I'm impressed with my luck. Do the triple? Yeah, he did the triple. Okay. I wonder if we can run away in that little hallway, if he could chase us or not. I don't know. Woo! Okay, he's gonna do that thing probably soon that he did last time. Or not. Ooh. Take that! That's what we get for trying a new technique on him. Eat lightning ball, buddy. I hate you. Literally hate that guy. Ooh. He is the worst. 
Alright, what did we get for our, our struggle? A twinkling titanite. Awesome! We actually need that quite a bit. Uh, what else do we have? We have a place we can jump to and lose all of our souls. Oh, we're going to drop down there. And, oh, okay, cool. So, two things we're going to do. First, let's go deal with this, this dude. Take care of him. And that gets us back in there. Okay. The Bracing Knuckle Ring. What is that? Bracing Knuckle Ring. There it is. Knuckle Ring wore by Roy the Explorer. Slows equipment degradation. Expensive flashy gear will not always make life easier for you. Sometimes you just need your tried and true equipment to last the long haul. Well, that's cool. So now we got another jump. Wish me luck, folks. Woo! A flame butterfly and three whole torches. That's crazy. Oh, how did we not die there? I'm so excited. Oh. That guy saw us with his crossbow, though. He's a jerk. Is there anywhere else? Uh, ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aha! I think I see a, a trick. Let's see if we cannot die. Alright, I think I see something here. Let's check this out. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, tell me this is a thing. Okay, okay, okay. Careful, Grug. Be very careful. Oh, we need to be oh so careful. Alright, alright. Oh, this is how you get to that. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I hope we don't trigger that guy who throws fireballs down there. I'm worried that we might. Soul of Brave Warrior and the Golden Wing Shield. Awesome. Awesome. So what is that? The Golden Wing Shield. A blue shield with a gold relief of wings. Likely a symbol of guardianship used by Knights of the Blue. Contains materials enhanced by magic, allowing spells to be deflected or parried. And how much defense is on that shield? It's probably not much if it's a spell shield. So 60% physical, but look at the other ones. Ooh. Depending what kind of spell we're facing up against, our other... It's, it's a little bit better in some points, but if you could parry a spell... Ooh, that would be cool. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Got another awesome item. Uh, and we are right next to this bonfire. I wonder, could I... Are we going to die doing this? I don't know. I don't know how to set my spells up properly for this. Alright. That's the wrong catalyst right there, that is. Careful, Grug. Aw, oh, really? Aw, oh, he's just outside the range. Okay. <gasps> I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I should have just used a homeward bone. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go see if we can get our souls, then we'll wrap up this episode real quick. Oh, that's... that was depressing. At least we're pretty much done with everything on that path. I don't think we can go any farther that way. We'll just run back, and we'll take us a second. Not with our awesome skills here. Our awesome mace. Ooh. Got a life gem out of it. Maybe it was worth dying to get that life gem. Maybe that will be the life gem that allows us to uh, to beat the final boss, for all I know. And we'll find out if the pursuer... Oh, these guys are so loud. We'll be able to find out if the pursuer respawns or not, too. 
I hope he doesn't. I don't want to have to fight him ever again. Ah! I have a feeling he is going to be a reoccurring problem. For us. Because if he already came back once, um... I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back again. Like, that would not surprise me whatsoever. Come on, buddy. Do your thing. Alright, folks. A moment of truth. Let's see if we can save these souls or not. Alrighty. It's a one-time rite of passage, apparently. Awesome. That is great. And I didn't die on the jump. Now the most difficult part. Oh, don't die, Grug. We've already done this once. Let's be careful. Just be careful, Grug. This is the most dangerous part. Is there anything on top of there? No, there's no reason to jump down here. Oh, but that's how you would jump down safely, is right there. I'm an idiot. Okay. That would have been simple. So let's run over here. Let's get these. Let's not do any fancy games. We're just going to run back this way. Whoop. Whoop. And luckily with our mighty cat ring, we'll go down. Drop down on these dogs here. They're having a bad day because of us, but that's okay. And we have a bonfire, folks, and that will be the end of this episode. So, we've got some souls to spend. I'll go spend those in Majula. When we come back, we will go back to... Where were we there? So, uh, that is the... Servants' quarters. We'll go back to that bonfire and we'll take the lower path instead of the upper path And we'll see if that lower path takes us to where we saw that well and everything that was going on um, And then this guy's name is McDuff apparently because we're at his workshop. I also did some thinking I think that loud screech that we heard was the pursuers eagle if you remember the very first time we fought him in the first uh, level uh, in the Forest of Giants, he he got swooped in with an eagle and dropped off in front of us for that surprise battle. So we just need to not panic. So that's, that's how that's going to go. So folks, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want on the videos. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, we hope to see you soon.